A question of character. character. Superman is a man of justice. Superman arrived from Krypton to protect humanity. Humanity that is ghost infested, thug ridden, and full of kung fu criminals. Tiny Punch Superman learns of these injustices after speaking to the Statue of Freedom. The Statue of Freedom speaks to Superman. The Statue of Freedom appoints Superman with the alias Clark Kent. She provides Superman with purpose. For alas, without her insight, Superman is passionless. The Statue of Freedom watches over Superman and protects him. However, she cannot move. Therefore, Superman must protect himself. The Metropolis streets are wicked. Lex Luthor's thugs openly display their weapons and fire on sight. Damn the law. They shoot their giant, slow bullets upon anyone. Superman must extirpate this malfeasance. Extirpate! Superman becomes Clark Kent, Daily Planet reporter. He will fool no one. However, his co-workers humor his alias, always knowing that he is Superman. Likely coming to this conclusion upon seeing him leap 20 feet into the air. But they don't care. They want that story. Superman is the story. Superman is the headline. Criminals will regret their transgressions and their malfeasance. Extirpate. Superman will kill them. Cry to Zoara. Superman murders the iniquitous hoodlums with tiny, deadly punches. The tiniest, the deadliest. Superman has incredible powers. Super hearing. Allowing Superman to hear the word help. Heat ray vision. Self-explanatory. Super breath. Breath so afoul that it causes zombies to glaciate. Superman speaks to scandalous ghosts. They will admit their plan. Some criminals atone for their sins before death. Others provide priceless and detailed information. Or sometimes nonsense. Superman beats them to the point of delirium that they question his diet. Superman must be careful while murdering criminals. They carry kryptonite. Superman's weakness, the red crystal kryptonite, flourishes throughout Metropolis. As well, somehow these criminals possess stock of Superman's limited powers. Superman will kill them for it through Tiny Punch. Superman converses with the citizens of Metropolis. They will threaten him. Others don't understand English or anything at all. Superman receives help from the FBI. The FBI informs Superman of criminal activity, like falling stocks. But they don't help to solve them. Solving crime is not the job of the FBI. Superman does not fully understand his own limited strength. Therefore, the FBI will educate him of his powers through their own research. Ah, so zombies hate my breath. Exactly. Just as much as the citizens hate your outfit. Who cares that Superman defeated the sentient monsters of fire? Your outfit is tragic. Superman is not invincible. He is, in fact, incredibly fragile. Turning back into Clark Kent when critically injured, Superman has attack and defense power. It increases upon mission completion and power-ups. Superman has the ability of flight. However, his flight is sometimes limited if he does not have flight power. Therefore, Superman must ride the subway. But that is only after he gets his free pass. Because Superman has no money. Regardless, Superman will defeat Lex Luthor of the sewer, the madman of computation, Jay Falk. And finally, the deviant space gang of Zod with precise and tiny punches. Then he will report back to the Statue of Freedom that praises Superman. And ironically, the Statue of Freedom solemnly informs Superman that he is to become Earth's indentured servant forever. Tiny Punch! Next episode. Sonic Boom.
Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your inquiry. Like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into quest. Return every Monday for more. A question of character. Other times, citizens will ask nonsensical questions to Superman, such as, So Superman, have you seen the movie about yourself?